My name is Kaloki Nyamai. I'm an artist from Nairobi, East Africa. And uh, welcome to my studio. Uh, I have two spaces here. Mm -hmm. um, the one you see behind me and the other one that I'm taking you there now. This is a space where when I'm working uh, and I'm finished work on the other side, I come and put the work up so I can see how the work look and uh, mistakes that I see in it and things that I do not actually um, put or uh, the intentional thing that I have not put on an intentional thing that I've come up. So here it's like a, I use it as a view room for my for myself. Yes. So this is a, like a view room, a touch up place or so a finishing space. Uh, This is a series that I'm working on. It's uh, a series uh, about um, spaces, uh, spaces, human spaces. I'm stitching the pieces together. So it's like uh, stitching a community that has been wounded together, uh, uh, stitching, uh, stitching human together. Sometimes it's quite hard to know when the work is finished or not. But until that time I feel the work is finished. So yeah, like this one I feel that I've finished it. This one I don't feel I finished it, and uh, the other one, I think it's finished. I, I yeah, I think I think it's finished. Maybe tomorrow I'll change my mind. Uh, like the work you're seeing in the view room right now, uh, the touch-up room, is a uh, it's a different series uh, that I have been working on, and this series is about um, uh, human existence and. Uh, human within the spaces of where they are. Let's go to my where they should live. Wow. I'm taking you to uh, my studio space where I'm mostly working. Uh, this is where when someone just comes to visit or a place where I sit, uh, just observing the work. Um, and then this is my studio. Uh, this is what I'm working on at the moment. I like working on many pieces at once. So it makes it easier for me. If I'm working on this one and then I get stuck, I can continue working on the other one. Because my work is all about putting layers. A lot, a lot, a lot of layers. And it's just like piling and piling and piling of this tree. Piling and piling and piling of information. So I will use a newspaper to stick on it and then I will use papers and stick on it and then paint again, stick on something, paint again, stick on something until I feel uh, it has reached a point where the work has communicated and the work is ready. And then after that is when I start working on the details. One of the biggest materials I use is also stitches to stitch the work together.
I find it very easy mm. uh, to work on the floor. I only put it on the wall when I want to view it and I can do touches. So walls I'll put it to do touches, but the heavy works I will do it on the floor. But when you see it standing now is when I want to stand on the back or I'm sitting on the other side to just have the view and then do touches, do touches, do touches. And that's what I will do. Previously all the works that I've been working on uh, mostly is about history and uh, the history about uh, my past history, about my forefathers past history, about my grand great great grandfathers past and uh, how they used to exist and coexist within the spaces of where they were and uh, history with uh, during colonization and uh, history after colonization and uh, history that I am experiencing within the space I am at this time. When I was growing up when you will speak and then people if you spoke good English people will respect you so everyone tried to speak a very good English and um, that's one. The second one is my first travel to Spain. In 2013 I, I had my first visit uh, to Spain and when I went there it was very interesting but everything seems looked so familiar. Um, the street looked familiar, people looked familiar, everything was so familiar. Uh, I realized it's because of the film that I've been watching and European films and uh, uh, pictures that I've seen which made it so familiar to me yet it wasn't uh, a space that I've been there before and uh, this started making me question um, uh, my history and, uh, and that made me uh, question um, the idea of the idea of spaces and different spaces and uh, so I started investigating how it used to be within the spaces uh, where I am how it used to be how Kenya used to be back in the days how my community used to be back in the days and so through that I started uh, having conversation with my grandmother since she has so much information because she was also uh, a singer during the time of colonization she was singing and performing in different places um, and she was a uh, what do you call uh, she was singing about the right of, uh, rights of people within within she was not diplomatic so she was seeing what she sees which she ended up getting arrested. Later on they released her because they realized that she was not with any hidden agenda. It's how she spoke and what she sang about. And people feared her because no one wanted her to talk about uh, them, the injustice of what they are doing. And so that also contributed so much to my work and uh, just fighting for something. That's, uh, that's right. I always find that if someone doesn't know their past and they become vulnerable and uh, they try to hold whatever they can find for them, for it to be known. Uh, so history is very important for me because it shows who we are and where we are. And uh, it gives us confidence um, knowing our past to, to work on the future. I'm working towards 154 and uh, like the anime these are some of the pieces that will be going to 154. It will be a visual online exhibition. Most of the events and exhibitions that I was going to participate in have been cancelled like uh, Dakar Biennale, uh, Paris, and my residency in Nigeria and other things. But at least 154 has managed to take a different form and still continue with the exhibition, which is fantastic and it's a great thing for the art world. So as an artist, um, I'm not sure what's going to happen next. It is just to look and see. and. Uh, just hope some uh, things will come back to normal. Mm -hmm. yeah.